In this problem, uh, we've got a box at 60 kilograms sitting on a surface. Uh, we're going to push on this box, uh, as shown here, uh, until it either starts to slide uh, or until the whole thing tips over. Uh, the question for this particular problem is, uh, is this going to tip over first or is this going to start to slide first? Um, so to figure this out, we basically need to look at what would be the force required to do either of those actions. Um, so I'm going to draw a free body diagram for each case. So with the, um, this is going to be the slipping, so it starts to slide first. I've got my box. Uh, I'm going to have my pushing force. Uh, I'm going to have <clears throat> my weight force. Uh, and so if I have a 60 kilogram box, uh, my weight is going to be 60 kilograms times 9.8, uh, which is 588 newtons. Um, <clears throat> My normal force would be equal and opposite to that, so also 588 newtons. Um, and my friction force here, FF, uh, if it's just about to slide, is going to be equal to mu static times my normal force of 588. And so I know mu static, that is 0.6. Two. That was given to me in the problem. Um, so, in this case, the pushing force is going to be equal and opposite. This is right before it starts to move. Uh, so the friction force, uh, which is equal to mu static, so 0.62 times the normal force of 588 newtons. And so that gives me a pushing force of 364.6 newtons. So that was the force that we required to start sliding this box. Uh, next, look, let's look at the tipping option. And so when this happens, We've got our box, and for this, the moments are important. So we've got our pushing force, push, I've got the friction force, which is equal and opposite to my pushing force, my weight force, I'm going to be pushing down like this, uh, it's again the same 588, uh, but the Normal force is all the way over located on this corner. And so in this case, the two moments are balancing. Uh, so I've got two couples here. I've got the pushing force and the friction force causing a negative moment. And then I've got the weight force and the normal force causing a positive moment counteracting that. Um, and so I can't go any further than the edge here. Um, I've got a distance of 1.5 meters. Uh, for this couple, uh, and for this couple down here, I've got a 3 meter distance between the friction force, which is on the ground, and the pushing force. Um, so those two moments are balanced. That means that F push, which is the same as FF, is going to be times 3 meters. That's the moment caused by these two forces uh, is going to be equal to the moment, or equal and opposite to the moment caused by these two. 588 is the force, and then 1.5 is the distance separating those two forces. So 588 times 1.5. Simply solve this for F push. Uh, I'm going to divide by, both sides by 3, and I get a F push value of uh, 294 newtons. And so if I look at these two options, it takes 364.6 newtons to start sliding this object, it takes 294 newtons uh, to start tipping this object. So this, right here, 
the lower value is going to happen first. Uh, I'm going to get to 294 before I get to 364. Um, so, <clears throat> as the answer, uh, what will happen first? Uh, the answer is, it will tip first. So with that, uh, I've solved my problem. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.